Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Cameron and welcome. So today's video is going to be a December Boxy Lux unboxing slash try on or whatever. Going to see what products come in this month's Boxy Lux to put them on. See how they they go on my face. So first, I'm going to go ahead and just open her up. And voila. So this is what the box sort of looks like. This month's boxy, I guess, theme is boxy whimsy. Whimsy. You can see that. And then it has a whole little breakdown of all the products and all the good stuff on the back end of this. So you can sort of see it there. Let me just move this back just a little bit so I can stack it there. And then just go through everything. So the first thing is going to a your hair wrap towel let's see where this is on here it's called a daily concept daily hair towel wrap which i don't know if i need this so i might just give it away i have some friends that have hair so maybe i'll do that but this is gonna be uh, 18 dollars. it retails for 18 dollars. like that there you go so that's the first thing next thing is going to be uh, i don't even know what this is i set this box down right here on the table the next thing is going to be this uh, Cosmetics Clean Clinical Luxurious. And, oh, it's one of those facial rollers. Yeah, it's like a facial roller. So it's the pink. Is it, this is pink or this is pink or I don't know, this is red. But you do this to it. This hexagon shaped cosmetics facial roller is an innovative beauty tool used to improve the visibility of fine lines, enhance skin texture. And uh, oh, I need that. Let's rub this thing in. It's kind of cold. It's kind of cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's going to be that. This cool, this retails for $69 and it has like a little pamphlet. So I'll definitely be reading that and I'll use this sucker. Next thing is going to be the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And this is for all skin types, rich in amino acids, generally cleanses face and eyes. And let's see where is this at on here. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, and this is $48, so this is what it, the little packaging looks like. It's really cute, it's like a a cool tone, like pinkish, red, blue shades. That's cool, it's very thick. It has a mirror in it, that's cool. So it looks like it comes with one, two, three, four, five, five matte shades, a couple, maybe like one, this is like a sort of a shimmer shade, and then one, two, three, four, five, six metallics, these guys. So that's really cute. And I think that, that is it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's all nine products. So uh, I'll calculate it up and I'll put like the price somewhere around here. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I don't, mm, this is the only like sort of face product that I can use, so. I'm going to go ahead and do base and everything. Then I'll come back and put this highlight on, put the eyeshadow on, and we'll be ready. And we're back, and I just did all my base makeup and stuff, and now we're going to get into this eyeshadow palette. Oh, this girl has a little thing there. I love ripping those off. So satisfying. And so this is the palette. I'm going to go ahead and put this back here, just like that. This is the palette. I'm gonna go right in with this Grim shade. It's like a sort of a plummy sort of shade. I'm gonna go right into that on this E17 brush and we're gonna go ahead and just sort of, oh, that's a lot of pigmented. Just start putting it there. I wanna do like a dark sort of cranberry shade. Just sort of do a rounded. Just placing all of this dark cranberry shade like just all over the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with sort of like a sort of a fluffier brush. This is the what is this? The JS6 brush. And I'm going to go into this one, which is Thorn. It's like a lighter, sort of dusty rose shade. And just sort of just place it on top just to blend, start blending this plum shade up. Just so that 
it gets sort of lighter as you go up. And then go back in with our grim shade and then slightly just tap and run it up. I'm gonna try to take some, like a difference, like a smaller sort of blender, I'm gonna M514, and I'm gonna tap it into the Grim Shade, just like slightly, just so that it can go up just a little bit. Cause they're sort of like, oh. yeah, we just had a little technical difficulties. So I'm still going in with that same, what is this, M514 brush, and I'm, just sort of blending it up. Just so that this sort of mauve color just sort of goes up like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this what spindle shade and just use it just, just dust it around the edges. Just like that. And take a little bit of that thorn shade and then take just a little bit of grim and that's basically the look the next thing i want to do is i'm going to take this beauty shade and i'm just going to just use my finger and just use this and just sort of oh that's nice Sort of wipe it on. These are really soft and buttery. Just like that, basically. That was really easy. This, this shadow eyeshadow palette is pretty good. Just gonna take a little bit of Grim, just tap it onto this brush, and then just sort of, just deposit it right here in the inner corner. And then do the same with the Thorn Shade. Just gonna just tuck it right up there. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a smaller brush so that I can do sort of like an inner corner highlight with this shade. This is the Enchanted shade, and these shadows are actually really good, so definitely recommend getting one of these palettes. Like, I'm not even wetting this, I'm just basically just tapping it and placing it. And take a little bit of that beauty shade. And I'm just basically going like that. Just doing that, going back in with Enchanted. Just like that. Lastly, uh, I think I'll just tap a little bit into the Grim shade and do my under eye. Oh, I have like a little, little tiny bit of fallout. Let's do that, going with the Grim shade and just basically just like sort of tap it right there. Just like that. Then I'm going to take this brush, just tap into Thorn. One down there, top of whatever excess, and just go right under. All right, so that's basically the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead, do the other eye, put some lashes on, and then we'll be 
right back to put our Siate confetti highlighter on and we'll be done. Be right back. And we're back, both eyes are done. I did just throw a little bit of this tar, what is it? Tardius Lip Paint in Style Festival. Uh, Cause it's sort of like, it's the same color as the like the purplish shade. I put on Little Lashes in Chicago. This is their premium synthetic line. And yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and use this lip gloss first. So this is the second nightstand by Too Faced. Just gonna. Just put that right on, that looks nice. It's kind of like a glittery. Shade next is gonna where I'm gonna put on that highlight from the Ciate London. Whoa, what highlight brush? We use this one. This is a Luxie tapered highlighter brush, and I'm just sort of just doing this sort of motions in it, and then I'm just gonna tap it off and put it there, sort of like a like a champagne sort of highlighter. It's not like a white or a gold. I don't know. Let's sort of, that's what it looks like. It's, yeah, champagne-y. Just like that. And then just a little bit down the nose, since I have it on my hand, on a cupid bow, and then just like, put up there, there. And that is the highlight. I actually like this. Well, that's a pretty color. It's like a sort of champagne-y color. So we'll definitely keep using that one or try it out a little bit more. And the last thing we're gonna use is this spray. So this says spray and massage oil. Oh, maybe we'll just spray like. I do not like this oil stuff. I'm probably not going to be using this on my face. It says you could use it in your hair, so probably will be using it in my hair because I like a little bit of oil there. Um, yeah, I definitely made... Um, yeah, it's not, not a good thing. So don't use that for your face. <laughs> so just a quick recap. I like pretty much every product I use except for this one. I definitely wouldn't recommend putting it on your face uh, with makeup on, probably afterwards, or in your hair like it says on here. Uh, eyeshadow palette, definitely, if you see, like, this brand, Storybrooks Cosmetics, and, like, all ton stuff, get some of their eyeshadows. Really good. I like it. The highlight looks good. I, again, I look really oily now because of this oil. Um, the lip gloss, hmm, it's cute. It's not, like, it's just whatever, but $21, probably not gonna do that. Uh, next is the, the highlight. I haven't used the, any of the other stuff, basically. I will probably be using those. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.